Hi, I'm Stephen Knight. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a photo bucket slideshow to your Facebook fan page. In your photo bucket account, go ahead and scroll down and you'll see your slideshows that you've done. Just mouse over your slideshow and select HTML code. I use Notepad, you can use TextPad or whatever you want, but copy the code from there into the notepad and you're going to see there's a lot of code but we're going to get rid of 90 percent of this code so go ahead and start by selecting where it says div at the very top and you're going to select all the way down to where it says transparent delete that great I'm going to tab this over a tiny bit next the third line down where it says ahref equals Select that all the way to the bottom of the code and delete that code. So now you're going to have three lines and we're going to delete a little bit more after the PBW quotes. Delete the height and the width. Great. And I'm just going to put the cursor in front of the, S in front of the source, the SRC at the top and tab down a little bit because I've got some code to add to the top of this. We've got three lines of code. So you can go ahead and add the code that I'm going to show. Uh, you can grab this right off of our blog, and I give the blog link at the end of the video. But you add those three lines of code, and I'm going to tab this up to neaten it up a little bit. Uh, before we do anything else, in front of the source, in front of the SRC, we're going to need to add a little bit of code right there. So click in front of the source and just type these three letters, just SWF. Great. Now, you need to create an image, and it's going to be a clickable image. You've got to have this clickable image so that you can start your player. So it's kind of like the placeholder. So I've created an image file, and I've uploaded it to my web server. You can upload it to wherever you'd like, but you can see here I've uploaded it to my server at, at fbmltraining.com. And so if I click on the link, it'll bring that image up. So you need to do the same thing. You need to create a placeholder. And once you do that, put that code in right there. The FBML training uh, photobucket.jpg area is where I've put the code. Where I've, and that's where my image is located on that server. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to Facebook. And I'm going to go to my FBML page. So hit Edit Page. And I've already created a page that's called photo bucket and I'll click on edit so here's the same code the exact same code and I've already pasted it in so that's all you need to do is paste your code into your page and then hit save changes and then you'll have a tab up top you can either find it under your your plus over to the right I've already added mine and there's my slideshow and when I click on the on the button to play it You'll see that my slideshow comes up, including the little control buttons at the bottom. That's about it. The main thing to remember is that you need to create your own image file and upload it to your server as a placeholder for, so they have something to click on to start the slideshow playing. So make sure you look at that. Once again, all of this information is on our blog right there at that link. Thanks for watching.